All right, so for my project, um, I want to drive that uh, strip here. I'll have a couple of strips uh, going down either my shirt or the side of my pants. And the idea is to obviously have the LEDs be controllable separately to do some nice effects. Um, the uh, Arduino Uno board uh, is obviously way too big for this. It will work, but it's not exactly... Actually, it won't work, and I'll explain why. Uh, but for just lighting up the, the strip, it will do the job, but it's way too big. Uh, that's the chip in it. It's a 328P, the old venerable chip. It's about yay big. And uh, the newer versions of the same chip look like this, like the one here. Uh, same chip, just different form factor. So that's actually an Arduino Nano V3, which is functionally the same board. Uh, but I had bought a long time ago that Arduini, which is basically a backpack for the chip. So you take the chip and you actually solder on that little board on the pins, and then the actual pins from the chip go into your breadboard, although in this case I'm not using the breadboard, it's just to hold uh, the chip uh, for this video. And then I soldered uh, two uh, I.O. one for the LED strip, and the other one will take the infrared uh, signal uh, going to a different uh, rows of pins. Just for comparison, here we have uh, a 32-bit um, AVR chip that's... Um, I forget what this one is called, but I think it's a Nano... Yeah, the name escapes me. But it's a... Uh, oh, Teensy. Teensy version 3.1. Uh, that's actually a very nice chip. Much more power, better I.O. Um, and it's probably actually the most capable chip on here. Anyway, the first problem I had when I uh, put this chip is I probably stole it from another project and put in a bare chip I bought, and the bare Arduino chips don't actually work they don't have a bootloader or anything, so I had to uh, burn a bootloader. The way you do that is you use an ISP uh, programmer uh, like this one, and this is actually meant to connect to the ISP plug that you have, uh, like here, this plug right here, ISP header, one right there. Uh, obviously, this bare chip doesn't have it, so uh, I looked online to see what the pins were, uh, I mapped them out, and then I basically just put them on a breadboard to connect to the correct pins of the Arduino, and that's how I was able to use the uh, ICSP programmer to not only flash something, but also put a bootloader, so now it will actually boot and uh, take serial to allow me to flash it. So, uh, again, there's no FTDI or anything on this chip, it's just the bare RXTX pins, and the way you program in that case, you use one of those little guys, which is a separate board, that has an FTDI equivalent on it and puts out RXTX. Uh, this one is really nice because you can actually in invert the pins and you can do 3.3 uh, volts or 5 volts uh, with those little switches. I wish I could buy more of these, but apparently they don't exist anymore. Uh, there's a toothpick on the side and there's actually also a toothpick here. And this is how I make sure that I don't plug it in the wrong direction because that would probably be pretty bad. So right now plugging in just gives power to the chip but that's also how I would program it. And once it gets powered, uh, it will boot and display the LED. So let me just plug it in to show, there we go. And then it's coming on. So that's my chip. Uh, that's the easiest and smallest way to do it. Sadly, as I found out later, it will talk to the uh, strip just fine, but it's not able to do infrared and uh, programming this, uh, talking to this uh, strip at the same time. The problem is to talk to those LEDs, you have to send a signal at 800 kilohertz, and that signal needs to be perfectly timed. And the only way you can do it is by stopping interrupts, which in, uh, in turn prevents the infrared driver from working. So it turns out I spent quite a bit of time trying to make it work, but it would not work with infrared and talking to the strip at the same time. You can send something, but then you cannot update because when you update, then infrared stops working. 